Now I found a few ingredients in my Black Widow drawers. They're awesome for holding all these little, little bits and pieces and food and tins of stuff. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put together a nice slice, a choc chip cereal caramel slice. I only need to use the Waco to refrigerate it, or basically to set it, and it's so simple you wouldn't believe. We need a saucepan on the stove, we need some butter out of the Waco to make the caramel. Let's get it happening. A couple of good helpings of butter. So yeah, about that much will do. I'm gonna put some golden syrup in. So a big squeeze of golden syrup, and of course a tin of condensed milk. And when you watch it, it'll go everywhere. And basically on low heat, we're just gonna stir it. Make sure you do stir it because it'll burn easily. Don't worry about all the little floating bits that you see in there. They'll all, they'll all come out in the wash. Now I'm gonna let this cool down over here somewhere, so I'll just chuck this over here. So we grab a decent sized bowl, and this is where we do up our our cereal mix. So, some cornflakes, a bit of a crush up, and then stick some rolled oats, these are quick oats. So just a bit of a sprinkle of that one. Coconut, because it is a coconut slice, you need coconut. Some almonds, these are just sliced almonds or slithered almonds as you want to call them. So I'm going to stick some choc chips in here, like that. And you can see, it's looking pretty tasty in there. And there it is. Now the caramel's cooled down, and all I gotta do is mix all the ingredients together. And then we just mix it up. Thoroughly mix it. Otherwise you're gonna have little dry bits, or little dry centers in your slice. So you want it nicely mixed up. There we go, it's ready. So I'll tear off a bit of baking paper, whack it in there like that. In she goes with the baking paper. So now I just dob that in there and bash it down. Now that's looking pretty sweet. Make it nice and level. So let's stick that in the fridge. We'll come back, I don't know, an hour, two hours later. It'll be set nice and hard. We can cut it all up and have a taste. That's looking good. Now it's been about two hours sitting in the Waco there. Let's get it out and chop it up. Coming out pretty, oh, there we go, look at that. Tastes good. Now that's got to be one of the simplest little slices out there. Doesn't take much to cook it up, mix it up, put it in the Waco. I'll see you out on the track somewhere and give it a go.